Uh, we're here in the KX Country Clubhouse, Tim McGraw at Universal today. This is, uh, this is awesome. Oh, thank I'm you. So, man. Thank you for doing this. Oh, thank God, you for being You must here. be tired today. I'm, I'm a little tired, but I'm all right. I feel pretty good, actually. Yeah, you know? my, my voice is a little scratchy today. I was uh, screaming my head off at a Tim McGraw show last night. <laughs> so um, My voice is a little scratchy, too. So. <laughs> yeah, I feel like so many people came up to me uh, this weekend and said, bucket list item, seeing Tim McGraw live. And so I feel like you made a lot of people happy. Well, that's great. Like, it, like, how does that feel for you? Oh, I love it. I mean, gosh, I, I, I feel so grateful that I'm able to do this for a living. You know, it's just, I mean, it's so much fun to get out there on stage and get that instant gratification. I mean, I don't think anybody ever gets in this business to right. like, well, I can't wait to just spend two weeks in the studio <laughs> with, with, the, with, you know, no sunshine or anything. <laughs> right, right, Although right, I right. love doing that. I love mm. being in the studio and create the creative process. But uh, the reason you do it is to be on mm. stage and to play live and to play, I don't know, there must have been, what, 50,000 people there last night or something so, like yeah. that. It was uh, huge. And so, like, how do you prepare for something like that? Because I talk to a lot of artists, and it's even at this point in uh, a lot of bands' careers, like, there's almost... Uh, almost nervous going into a show like that. Do you get, do you get any of that? Is I don't that, get is nervous. It nervous or is it just no, I get excitement? Just, or? It's just excitement and energy. I don't really get nervous. To me, you know, I grew up being an athlete, so it's always right. makes me think of like in the locker room right before a football game or something, that kind of energy. Okay. You just, you're, you're prepared for it and you're ready. Okay. And, and you can just feel the energy off the crowd, you know. I, I sat on the side of stage and watched some of Riley Green's show last night because I hadn't had a chance to see him live before right and saw how great the crowd was and I knew we were gonna have a good night who can throw a football better you or Riley uh, I haven't seen him throw a football but I can <laughs> he threw, he threw one last night he got it pretty well <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's just incredible so you have this new album coming out um, so the standing room only is it's not only the lead single but that's that's the name the title track off the album track off the album um, and the tour and, and the tour yeah. uh, was, why standing room only what's what's the meaning there well, it was the song was so great. I mean, right. I love what the song had to say. Um, and and to me, it's not a, it's not about the end game. It's about the way you live your life. It's very life affirming. Right. And uh, you know, it's talking about making mistakes and talking about you know just getting up the next day and being better. Right. And, uh, and, and that's what you know. The th there's a lot of that theme in this album. And you're a great storyteller, and I mean, you have a, a song called, uh, you've, you've spoken about, you know, how you, you've kind of clean, cleaned up the lifestyle and like, you've, you've, you know, quit drinking, and um, you have a song on the album called Hey Whiskey, uh, and I, I feel like that's almost inspiring to other people to, to, to do the same. Yeah, it's one of my, well, it's, you know, like anybody that's gone through this, you know, I mean, not anybody, but in my, my case, you know, it's not a linear process. There's right. setbacks and all kinds of stuff, but, but you try to get up the next day and do better. Mm -hmm. um, but that song was really special when I first heard it. My buddies, the Warm Brothers, were writers on that song, and when they sent it to me, I really, really knew I, I loved it, and, and it spoke to me personally in a lot of ways, and I thought it would be cathartic for a lot of people. Um, and interesting, interestingly enough, when we recorded that song, it was probably... I don't know, we were about a week into recording. We'd spent two or three, two or three weeks recording the album, which I still do at old school with the whole band. Yeah. Right, right, I, right, I love yeah. having the whole vibe with the whole band. All these great musicians and great songs. It's, mm -hmm. it's so much fun. But um, it was late at night, and we'd been cutting all day, and we got to that song, and my voice was completely shredded. Right. And I'm, I'm like, you know, I don't even know if I can give you a guide track how much <laughs> my voice is gone. And we played it, and that vocal was the very first run through of the first time we tried to really? learn the track to the song. And... Like I said, my voice was shredded and everything. And I kept going back in the studio trying to re-sing it. And I could sing it better, but I couldn't sing it as good. It's just raw, that's raw, that right? It's right off it the was, floor, yeah. I couldn't find the emotion. It was so emotional. Mm -hmm. and it was, I was lost in the moment. And it was just, we, I, we just couldn't beat it. So we, we ended up keeping the very first take of the very first run through. Uh, you got another song called Remember Me Well. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, like I said, great storyteller. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, and I don't want this to sound too dark, but when it does get to that point where, you know, your career, hopefully this isn't happening for many, many years, <laughs> but when it does get to that point, like, what do you want to be remembered? You as Tim McGraw, what do you want to be remembered? Oh my, just in, professionally, you mean? Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because other than professionally, it would be just dad, but... Of course. But um, professionally, I, I would just think, you know, good songs. And mm -hmm. that's what I've tried to build my career on is, is, is good songs. I mean, you can... You can sing the phone book, but if you don't have a good song, you don't have anything. And uh, the song always has to win. Right. Yeah. Um, I did have, I, I, I had something to show you here. Um, this is this is from a couple moons ago. Do you remember that guy there? Oh my there? gosh. Do you wow. remember that guy? 
what uh, it's, it's a very old picture. It's a very old picture. I think uh, that's like 1998. I want to yeah, say that was a few that's pounds ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, you still look great. But um, what advice would you give to that guy? Uh, straighten up quicker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, straighten <laughs> right, up quicker. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, hopefully I didn't shave too many years off my life back right, then. Right. Right. Um, you're in Canada. Uh, what's one thing you have to do when you get back here? Oh, Canada, gosh. Um, I, what do I have to do when I come to Canada? Uh, a poutine? Poutine, yeah. yeah you I gotta have some of that every time I get here. You're looking great, so yeah, yeah, yeah I have I, a couple poutines before some you get that. out here. Um, yeah, I just love coming to Canada. The people are so great here. I mean, right. it's, been, it's been great my entire career. We started playing Canada a lot before I had a big hit. We, my first top 40 record, I think Welcome to the Club was their only top mm. 40 record off of my first album. And we started touring in Canada at the coldest time of year. I told my agent to book me in Canada right. at the coldest time of year because my thought process was, you know, I know I only have like a number 38 record, but if it's so cold, everybody's sort of locked in their house. Right. If I show up, just a chance to get out of the house, they'll show up just to see me, even though they've never heard that. of me. And it worked yeah. out pretty well. Yeah, yeah I think so. I, you've had a pretty good career. So yeah. I'd well, say and Canada's always, really well. every time yeah. we play Canada, it's been great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, we're happy to have you here, man. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, congrats on, obviously, all the success so far. Uh, and good luck with the new album, man. Wishing you, you all the best. I appreciate it. Good talking to you.